Hey guys, welcome. I am the Card Collector, and today we are doing a sealed box of a 2020-2021. Looking for Kaprizov and Stutzla because, well, Kaprizov is going for absolutely crazy money. Stutzla is still around the same price as it was, whatever, last year or on the offseason. We are looking at eight cards per pack 24 packs per box you've probably seen this opened i've done cases and cases i believe i bought like 10 at a time from my shop when it was opened so we're gonna get right into this i hope everybody likes subscribes shares and uh let's go through i haven't opened a lot of series two in a long time especially uh everybody was so pumped up having that stutzla and who would have known that uh, kaprizov would have been the biggest rookie of this year. Everybody thought Lafreniere, but man, were we wrong. All right. Cards are a little messed up, but there's a Reed Duke, Huberto, New Flame, and Stahl playing for the Whalers. That's kind of cool. Carolina Retro jersey. All these packs. I don't know where these this box has been stored, but these packs are opening really good. Kane, Luke Dubois, Kevin, Lankinen, and we got a Liam Foodie. Dazzler, very nice. Hart, Kubalik. I bought this box for around, I believe it was around 80 bucks, 85 bucks. Off season, course stuff goes down. Canvas. Boquist. And like I said, these uh, packs are opening very smooth. So wherever it was. Oh, Keandre Miller, the guy that follows me. Same as uh, the goalie from uh, New Jersey. So there is a Keandre Miller. Did pretty good in the playoffs. When I see uh, that Rangers uniform, I always get excited. Because I, oh, I always thought it was Lafreniere. And now... Lafreniere is selling for less than 100 bucks. Bobby Ryan Award winners. Pulled a lot of those with the Nathan McKinnon. Kako, Murray, Maroon. We got Bork, Skinner. E oh, looks like a base pack. Roslovic. Haven't heard from Ro I talk about Roslovic in a long time. A lot of Pierre-Luc Dubois talk, but not Roslovic. Yeah, there he is right there. Sen, or Seen, whatever, how you say his name. There you go. I pulled a total of 14 of these between retail and hobby. Every box. I believe I got seven in one case. I didn't want to say his name because I guess just mentioning him just brings him into the mix. Takes the place for a good young gun. We got... Uh, rookie portraits. One thing I'm kind of glad that uh, the UD portraits aren't looking like that this year. Going back, there's a lot of things I kind of like about Series 2, but there's a lot of things I don't like about Series 2. Chase Presky. Prisky. And there's McKenzie. Just signed with the Flames. Or I guess, sorry, I got traded to the Flames. Says that he's very excited to play for us. And uh, can't wait to see what he does. Top two defensemen. Alex Belzile. There is his retro. Very flimsy. Not a big fan of those cards. Whenever I open a box. This box has been sitting for over a year now. Suter. Another Prius Suter from Switzerland. Where is a Cousins or a Kaprizov or there's a Michael DiPietro. Everybody thought he had a lot of, a lot of people were collecting him back then. I Back then I'm talking like whatever it was. A year ago now. Sam Steele. Ty Smith. That is actually a very good young gun now. Back, um, I guess last year I was selling for, I was selling for five bucks at one time. Bought a few, I uh, flipped a few. I pulled more than a few. 
I remember we were, uh, opening uh, hobby boxes and I got three or four in a row of his. Now, it's not bad. We got Gabe Velarde. I like those Dazzlers. Reds are still my favorite. Everybody said the Reds look like blood. What are you going to do? We've got Helm. Mikael Berdine. Again, not a big fan of those. Very flimsy looking cards. Theodore McCarr. Adam Fox. Roman Yossi. Kaysan. Mackenzie and Whistle. Now there are a lot of guys were collecting him. Don't even know where he's at. Could be the AHL, could be Europe. Maybe he's even playing NHL. I just haven't heard a lot about him in a while, long while. Lafreniere, there he is, Alexis Lafreniere. Of course, he is, this photo was done like a day after. A day after he was drafted. No shoulder crests, no numbers. That was just a complete mess. Having a player that never played a game. Have his young gun up, and then now he's. No, I'm not saying he's a bust, late bloomer, maybe. Alex Bell's out blue. Making sure there's no black, blank backs or uh, one out of ones. Alex Kilorn, Hall, Graves, Batherson, Johnson. And. William Carlson for Vegas. Three packs to go. I've held this box for over a year. Thought today would be a good day. Vanacek. Vanacek. Of course, got traded, then traded again. Washington had him two times. And that was uh, pretty crazy. Any more young guns? Oh! Dylan Coughlin from Duncan, BC. Pulled a lot of his stuff, too. Kiefer Bellows, Cam um, Dazzlers, and the last pack. Praying for that Stutzla. Playing, praying for that Kaprizov. And we got a Ryan McLeod. So, was that a good box? No. I probably bought this box back in, who knows, maybe 100 bucks back then. Maybe 80 bucks. I'm not even sure. I believe uh, I bought uh, I, I bought 10 boxes for, if I remember correctly, $1,000-ish. It was like a one-time deal. So let's show what we got. We got a Coughlin, Young Gun Canvas. A lot of different stuff. Lafreniere. Back then it was a bigger deal than it is now. Ant Whistle. Ty Smith, probably the best young gun we got this box. Prius Suter, Prisky, not going to say his name, Keander Miller, and Lankinen. And Reed Duke. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Thank you for tuning in to a Friday Night Breaks. You will see a brand new video Sunday. Not sure if it's going to be hockey or what's going to happen. So thank you guys. Have a good day. Have a good night. I'm the card collector. And I'm out.